What we want to talk about today is uh, how we can take an, an expression such as this prefix expression and how we can evaluate it in our code. And I'm going to walk you through both the algorithm and the coding for this evaluation. And what one of the things you're going to find is that both the algorithm and the code for it is ridiculously simple. And this is the reason, by the way, why I mentioned to you that some people in my college were su was suggesting that humans stop writing an infix rotation and start writing everything either prefix or postfix. Uh, this is prefix. You can see that the operators come before the operands. And I'm going to show you now how to parse this expression. And it's a simple single parse uh, solution using a single stack. We're going to start parsing from right to left. So for prefix, we're going to start parsing from right to left. Later on today, I'm going to ask you to write the postfix evaluation algorithm. And you're going to have to figure out if it's still going to be right to left or if you need to change that and make it left to right. Just make a little note for yourself that that's something you might want to revisit when we look at the postfix evaluation algorithm. But right now, we're on the prefix. And I'll tell you that the parsing is from right to left. And in order to figure out what this is equal to, I'm going to start on the right-hand side. And I'm going to just look at each token and make a simple determination. Is it an operand or is it an operator? And what I'm going to do is, if it's an operand, I'm going to push it onto the stack. And if it's an operator, I'm going to evaluate the stack. So you can see I'm going to look at this 9, and it's going to be an operand. So I'm going to push it onto the stack. Then I'm going to look at the 4 and see it's an operand, and I'm going to push it onto the stack. Then I look at the 5, I push it onto the stack, and then finally I come to the star, and I say, oh, I have to evaluate now. So all I do is I pop the top two elements from the stack, the first one I pop is going to be my left operand, and the next one I pop is going to be my right operand. By the way, it doesn't matter for multiplication which one is the left and which one is the right, but if this was a division or a subtraction, it would matter which one is the left and which one is the right. And I'll tell you that for prefix evaluation, the first one you pop is always going to be the left operand, and the next one you pop is going to be the right. You may have to revisit that when you do your postfix evaluation to see if those need to be reversed or not, I'm not going to tell you. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop the 5 and the 4, and we're going to execute this operation. So we're going to remove the 5. We're going to remove the 4. We're going to evaluate 5 times 4, which is 20. And we're simply going to push that back into the stack like that. And now we're just going to continue. We're going to come over here with the 3. What should we do with the 3, Mr. F? Sorry. We're going to push it onto the stack. Then we're going to come to the two. Mr. Alfaro, what should we do with the two? Push it onto the stack. Then we come to the star. Mr. Basu, what should we do with the star? What are we going to pop, sir? So we're going to pop the two and the three. We're going to multiply those. We're going to get an answer of six. And we're going to push the six onto the stack. Now we have a plus sign. Mr. Nikita, what should we do with the plus sign? I'm going to get a 26, so I'm going to remove the 20 and the 6, and I'm going to push at 26. And finally, I have a subtraction sign. Sir, should I do 26 minus 9, or should I do 9 minus 26? It's going to be 26 minus 9 because the first thing that I pop is always the left operand, and the second number that I pop is always the right operand. So now I do 26 minus 9. Sir, what should I do with the 17? I'm going to push it onto the stack. And once I run out of tokens to evaluate, you can see that the number, the answer, is sitting in the stack. What should I do with the answer, Mr. Frederick? Return it, pop it, print it, whatever. 